How to close a conference call and make sure to provide your attendees with a clear call to action. I'm going to give you some ideas in this video right here, right now. So if you are watching this video, you know how important it is to sound and look confident when you are leading conference calls or telephone calls. When it comes to closing a conference call, the deadly sin you can commit is to leave your attendees confused or disappointed. So remind yourself to keep your energy up till the end. Many people tend to lose energy as they get to the end of the call or the end of a speech. So remind yourself, keep your energy up and make sure you have a set of good key phrases to close and leave your attendees with a clear call to action. Now, it is important to remember not to focus only in the closing of your call to keep all the energy to the end because a good closing will not rescue a poorly call in general. Think about storytelling. Think about the chapters in the story. If one bypasses the middle of the story, and goes straight to the end, it's gonna lose power and it's not gonna be as effective and it's not gonna be helpful. So in your conference call, you want to make sure you concentrate in every part of the story of the conference call. So you have to open with, make sure you have the good phrases for your opening and lead uh, powerfully from the beginning, then you make sure you have good phrases to continue your call and not get lost uh, and lose time in the middle and close with a very powerful call to action. Make sure everyone understands what they have to do next. So if you need to check on opening and leading conference calls, make sure to take a look at this video and at this video. As a public speaker and body language trainer, I've seen many students give otherwise good speeches that seem to fall apart at the end. I've seen typical endings like, um, okay, and that's it for today. That's it. That's it, guys. I have nothing else to say. Um, okay, and um, I'm done. That's it. Okay, guys, uh, I... I think I have nothing else to say. Thank you. That doesn't sound good, does it? Yeah, it doesn't. There are many ways you can finish a speech or a conference call in this case. By the way, today is the last episode of the conference call, the three parts of this conference call, how to lead the conference call. And uh, what's coming next, it's about speech. Let's. Uh, I'm going to bring new episodes on how to open a speech, how to make sure your speech is compelling, how to close the speech and so on. So stay tuned for what's coming next on public speaking essentials. So let's take a look of the phrases that I, simple phrases, again, basic, but you have to make sure you have them ready and prepared and that um, interiorized, interiorized, interiorizado, interiorized. And that's how you're gonna sound and look confident if you are on a video call. So let's dive into it. Let's go. Closing an item. I think we should close this point and move on to. Right, I think we've covered all that. Okay, I think we are. I think we've all had our say on that. Next item. Let's move on to the next item, which is. Now that we've discussed X, let's now talk about Z. The next item on today's agenda is... 
If nobody has anything else to add, let's continue to. Next, John will update us on. Next, we need to consider giving control to the next participant. I'd like to hand over to Joanne, who is going to introduce the next point. Next, Maria is going to take us through. Now, I'd like to introduce John, who is going to. We haven't heard from you for a while, Joanne. Would you like to comment here? I believe Maria may have something to add at this point. What do you feel about the last comment, the last point, John? I'd like now to ask Maria to say a few words. Over to you, Joanne. Any comments, anyone? Now to summarize and close. Concluding. As I conclude this presentation, let's go over the main points. In respect of time, allow me to wrap up my comments. I'm going to close this call with a big thank you. So I hope you enjoyed the three lessons on how to open, lead and close a conference call. Very important these days, very important now for 2020, 2021, that we are going to be more and more working remotely, dealing with conference calls. There is more and more video. There will be more and more training on how to look, how to work with your body language, your posture, your facial expressions and um, keep eye contact. How do you do all these things in a conference call? and make sure also that your verbal message corresponds with your non-verbal. That's another chapter, another episode that is coming your way on Public Speaking Essentials. I hope to see you next Monday for another episode of Public Speaking Essentials, where we're going to be talking about how to start a speech. And that's going to be very interesting. If you like this video and this series and you believe it was helpful to you, make sure to give us a like and also to subscribe, press the bell button so you receive notifications every time we upload a new video. And also share with the people that you love, share with everyone that you believe it, this content could be interesting. And I see you next Monday. Ciao, ciao.